guys, it's Ariel with Seattle Coffee Gear. I am with Madison today, and we're gonna be doing a coffee tasting with a new roaster that I am so excited to be having. Yay! It's Mother Tongue Coffee. They are based out of Oakland, California. Um, they were founded by Jen Apodaca, so it is a women and Latinx owned coffee company, Madison. Yeah, I'm super excited. She's um, kind of a, a heavy hitter in the uh, specialty coffee world. She roasted for uh, Blue Bottle and Intelligentsia. So, yeah. um, and she was, she's a certified Q grader. Um, she is the 2019 uh, US Cup Tasters Champion and the founder of She's the Roaster or hashtag She's the Roaster, which highlights women identifying roasters and offers them opportunities like scholarships and just kind of like, you know, a kind of a doorway in to the specialty coffee industry, just because especially on the roasting side, it's very male dominated. For sure. Um, so it's, yeah, they're pretty great. And the, their goal, amongst other things, is to pull the stick out of the ass of third wave coffee. Yeah. <laughs> which, which is a worthy goal. <laughs> yes, because it shouldn't just be about the taste. Coffee should also be fun and accessible for everyone. So we're really excited to bring them on um, and, you know, give their coffees a try. I mean, Jen's definitely a hero of mine, so... Totally. Yeah, totally fangirling over here. Me too. Uh, <laughs> and not to mention their bags look amazing. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'm excited to dive in. Yeah, you just want to get into it? Sounds good. The first one we're going to taste is the, it is the Mother Tongue Coffee uh, Chelbessa. And it is an Ethiopian single origin. So Sweet. let's give I'm it excited. a try. Yes. Is this like a washed or is it a natural? That is a good question. It smells like a washed. Does it? Yeah. Well, cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. It's really like tea like in mouthfeel. Definitely. Like floral, kind of lemony. Mm hmm. Really good. It's really soft on the mouth. Yeah. I'm de it's definitely, um, it has a nice fruitiness to it, too, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very, it's a very like, gentle, delicate coffee. Mmm. That's really good. I like that one a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this one I would definitely do for, for a V60 like we did. I think so, um, too. This would, be, this would be a little bit hard to dial in as espresso, I think. Yeah, I think it would definitely take um, repeated attempts. Yes. At <laughs> it would be so juicy, just yeah. like as a standalone shot. Very true. But yeah, I, I'm definitely a pour over fan myself, so mm. I would probably be going back to the V60 for this. Yeah, me too. It's just, it's kind of perfect for that. Mm hmm. Very good. Want to try the next one? Yes. Let's do it. Let's do this. <laughs> so, next, we're going to try another single origin. This one is from Peru. Um, it has, ooh, I like these tasting notes. Tastes like orange blossom and uh, pecan pie. Ooh. Oh, yes. So Exciting. yes, it's the Roxana Rafael uh, Caja Marca Peru. Sweet. I'm very excited. You? Thank you, friend. Mm -hmm. anyway, I'm already shaking. <laughs> Plenty of caffeine. <laughs> I've had so much coffee today already. <laughs> Probably going to die after this. All right. Here we go. Cheers. Okay, smells really good. It definitely smells nutty kind of right off the bat this one's not quite as tea-like no i might say a little bit and just to comment on our brew we did um v60s all with the same um, dose same water temp so this should be pretty consistent across the board but i definitely am tasting like um a heavier body on this one yeah it almost has like a like it almost sticks to your tongue mm -hmm. in a way. Hmm. I really like this one. Nice. I think that that pecan is poking out there a little bit. Yeah, it is. And then the orange blossom is kind of more kind of on the back end. Mm. Yeah. I think this one would be a stellar pour over. Mm -hmm. And I also think it'd be great in drip. Would be kind of fun to see how this would do as a 
a French press or a... Yeah. I'd want to try it as a cold brew. Because mm. I mm. think that it would coax out even more of that pecan pie flavor, you know? Totally. Yeah. This one's really good. I like this one a lot. Mm-hmm. All right. Coffee number three? Coffee number three. Let's do it. Let's do this. <laughs> so next we're going to try mug shots. And this is kind of a special blend. It has tasty notes of chocolates and flowers, but the idea behind it was, it was an art project on her part with, uh, she was inspired by the mug shots of her heroes. I love that. Which is really cool. Cause <laughs> you know, sometimes you've got to make a little bit of a mess to change things. Yeah, totally. So, yeah. All right. And this one, yeah, it is a blend, right? So yes, it is a blend. I've had it as espresso before, and it's it's really lovely. Mm. It is definitely like you know chocolatey and floral. I suspect it's going to be more floral because of the brew method, but I'm really excited because I've only had it as espresso. Mm -hmm. Well, let's Cheers. see how the pour over tastes. It smells good. It smells great. Yeah, this one's more floral as a pour over. Mm, I, I can imagine that. Yeah, the chocolate kind of hits you on the nose, which is weird because normally that's like the floral tasting note. Mm. Oh yeah. This one, I, as far as like the body goes, feels a little bit more medium, mm -hmm. a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter in body than that first one that we had, but it's yeah. really... That's kind of what I look for. I'm a big drip and filter fan, so yeah. I like that, the mouthfeel of those beverages in this. I great. like it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever way They're I can good. get it, I will take it. Yes, <laughs> so. yes. Well, this one's a good one. Yeah. I'll have to do a little bit more looking into the um, the Mugshot art series too. Yeah. I thought that the uh, mothertongue.coffee website was really helpful um, and interesting too. So I recommend checking it out. There's yeah. some really good info on there. Yeah, it's really well thought out and, you know, just gives you a lot more information on the company and kind of what they do and what they stand for. So definitely give them a look and um, definitely check out hashtag she's the roaster on Instagram just because there's a lot of cool stuff. They're hosting a scholarship program with Coffee Project New York as well um, this the summer of 2022. So that's just really awesome that they're providing those opportunities for women identifying coffee roasters and, you know, just people in the coffee industry. It's yeah. Pretty great. It's awesome. It's coming right up too. So yeah. yeah. So, you know, if you are a woman identifying coffee roaster and you're looking for more opportunities, definitely give them a look. Um, do you have anything else to that you wanted to throw in there? Well, I'm just really excited that we're bringing this uh, coffee on. And um, I want to thank you for watching the video and thanks yeah. for uh, hanging out with Ariel and I, and we'll uh, see you next time. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Bye.